Okay, let's get this video started. Meet my crazy father, dishwasher dad. My dad is crazy and accident prone. And unfortunately for him, I love to draw comics of all his misunderstandings and mishaps. And last year, I created a book about him. Oh, sorry. The, the dishwasher dad family book with all his deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets hidden inside, all based on our crazy adventure in Wales. But first of all, why is he called dishwasher dad? Well, Let's go back a long, long time ago. <gasps> Not that long. Why did mum keep that picture? Yes, that's right, perfect. Whenever I tried to do a video, like a live video on Instagram, dishwasher dad would suddenly start doing the dishwasher in the background. He'd be crashing and clattering away, driving me insane. And then I'd try and go to another room and I'd start my video and he'd start doing the hoover. <laughs> dishwasher dad, you drive me mad. Eventually, all my friends and everybody on Instagram started calling him Dishwasher Dad too. <laughs> he suddenly started getting presents from across the world. He got aprons and amazing plushies. People like handmade things for him. I started trying to create comics, but I couldn't actually keep up because he was having accidents or misunderstandings every single day. Some of these, for example. One of the funniest things is that dishwasher dad is organized and calm. He likes things just so, even though he causes so much chaos. And then I am Doodle, the hyper happy artist. I'm like, oh, bird, oh, bee, kind of optimistic person. So the two of us together, we cause a lot of friction and chaos. So after all that crashing and smashing, I wrote a book about him. <laughs> I mean, to spread happiness and joy to everybody who read it. Quite a few years earlier, me and Dee Dee had gone on an adventure to North Wales. Fortunately, my sister, little sis, was very sick and my mum had to stay behind to look after her. And I thought, oh, it's not fair, we're having this amazing time. And they are stuck at home, feeling ill and sad. So I decided to create a really detailed journal of every single thing that happened. Everything that Dee Dee did it. <laughs> Everything that Dee Dee did, or me, or people we met, the conversations we had, I took loads of photos, and at the end of the day, I would write for like two hours this huge journal entry of the whole day and send it to mum and little sis. And they were so happy, they said they felt like they were there with us, and it was just so amazing and wholesome, and I just kept creating and creating all through the week that we were there. And Dishwasher Dad was causing chaos everywhere, but so was I because I am just as chaos to kiss him. I am the dishwasher daughter. As we left poor mum and little sis behind, dishwasher dad, he squirted wind wiper fluid in her mouth. So she was like, goodbye, goodbye. And she was like, just go. Time to pack, ready. And to my horror, I saw what he brought, my tax return. No, let's dedicate one day of the holiday to it. Just think all that free time, free time for fun. Taxes are fun. Mom! He lost at an Italian village one shoe. And it wasn't even the shoe that he was wearing. But you'll have to read the book to find out what happened. And actually, that shoe arrived home before we did. It's crazy. He is crazy. He's mad. And I love him. Even years later, we would still get it out just to laugh at. I wanted to capture some of that fun, joy and chaos into something that people could always have with them. So it was time to create the Dishwasher Dad book. I got my pencil, my paper, because I just love to sketch, first of all, on paper. I got my journal up and I just wrote and wrote and drew like mad. I made it part travel journal, part comic and I was so happy with it. But when I showed Dishwasher Mum, she went, hmm, it's not like the comics. But it doesn't look quite like your cartoons that you normally do. But you've done well. But not to be disheartened, I went underground. I, <laughs> I pushed it away, I hid from it. I felt it was like a burden now and I didn't even want to think about it until one day, enough, I couldn't keep acting like this. I wanted to create a dishwasher dad book. I would bring happiness. I would make people happy. So I went over it with mum and we immediately, like in 10 minutes, we saw exactly where I'd gone wrong. I had focused way too much on the journal. Whereas the joy and the happiness of the dishwasher dad comics and the stories 
were just simply that in the drawings. They were simple. I always love to live by the rule K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. Although mum doesn't like to say stupid, so she says, keep it simple, sugar. Just keep it simple. Don't overthink it. Just follow your heart, create, and see what happens. And I hadn't really done that. I'd been thinking, no, 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 I need to include the journal. When of course, the answer was staring me in the face. So I had a plan now, and I set off drawing and scribbling like crazy again, but even more so, and I just sat there laughing at my own jokes the whole time because I couldn't believe the things that had happened. And then I had my book. It was all perfect, and it was all in huge piles of paper. So it was time to draw it digitally. It's a bit of a different book because instead of like focusing completely on the comics or the journal, it is just packed full of art. It's a celebration of like, if you know North Wales, it's so beautiful, so magical, steeped in myth and legend. I wanted to create a celebration of the place, of the art, the magic. I always feel like part of my heart belongs there. Well, I also feel that it belongs in Norway and Scotland and Japan. But anyway, you get the point. I wanted it to sing and my mum would often say hmm it's great but more more titivate it I was like titivate it I thought titivate meant to like to just waste time but no titivate meant to add lots and lots and lots and lots of details so I just added everything I brought up all the reference photos from the pictures I taken in Wales I added every bush every flower you can tell the places I love the most because they are like with color <laughs> and art and happiness I just wanted it to make people's hearts happy, you know? And if you know North Wales, you'll probably recognise some of the places too. And if you don't, maybe it will inspire you to visit, or you can visit through the pages. Oh, I should probably mention that I had decided to draw Dishwasher Dad as a cat when I started the comics because, well, I love cats. I love how he's come out. He's like so triangular and I'm like so poof and fluffy. So I'm Doodle and Dishwasher Dad, we were the stars of the book, but there was another friend, Cluellen. So at the place we stayed, there was a very cheeky seagull and I called him Cluellen. He would turn up every morning for breakfast and evening. He would sit like on the little roof underneath the window at the top floor and he'd just be like feed me feed me oh he'd be welsh feed me feed me <laughs> he'd be cheekily demanding food so of course he made it into the comic we saw amazing things all the time but he was always the highlight of my day next it was time for the cover usually covers are really hard but i am somebody who has to always be like moving like drawing or doodling or daydreaming and when i'd be writing my gratitude journal one lunchtime i just started sketching out like an imaginary cover with uh, me doodling and dishwasher dad bursting through the sky on a Porthmerian golf course, a go sorry, golf cart. This amazing cult TV series, The Prisoner, which is set at one of the places we went to, Porthmerian, this incredible Italian village. I love that program so much. I was like fangirling the whole time I was at Porthmerian. Porthmerian, am I saying it right? I hope I am. And that cover, I basically just put it into Procreate and drew over it and it became the cover. It was as easy as that. I was really happy with Pass Kitty for sorting that out. So now all I needed to do was get it printed. Wait! Wait. I suddenly realised that Snowden, the mountain that starred in the book, had changed its name. Ugh! So it had gone back to the original Welsh name, so I had to go through the whole book again and change every single mention of Snowden to the new mountain, which was not as easy because I'd written everything by hand. So I had to erase it, write it up, erase it, move it, Oh, So okay, now it was time to send it to the printers, but wait, I love Llewellyn so much. And his little cameos in the book were my favorite moments. I said, oh, I wish I could include him on every single page. And dishwasher mum said, do it. So I did. I spent a morning drawing about 75 seagulls on the page. And the cutest thing is he rocks a little bow tie so you can always find him compared to all the other seagulls in the book. And he is up to mischief on every single page from the moment you meet him. You have to try and find him. Where is he? Has he stolen an ice cream? He's obsessed with food so he's usually like, you know, chilling out on top of the pancake house with a huge pile of pancakes and everyone's like, where's my ice cream gone? Finally, finally, it was re- well, I added a secret QR code, I created a secret website, I added a list of all the people who had made the trip special, and then it was time to send it to the printers. 
there's always that moment when you've sent it to the printers where you are terrified that you've done something wrong, that the PDF isn't gonna work, that they're gonna say the template is cor incorrect. And they did, they said, I'm afraid that you've sent it in in the wrong size. It's like, no, no. Four, luckily four out of like the 80 pages had been put in the wrong size, so I had to get them out, put them in another template, and then put that back and then send it. And it was too big a file, I couldn't send it in one, so I had to cut it in half into two PDFs, but my Procreate kept crashing because it can only process so many pages at once, so, oh, there was a bit of a technical nightmare with that. Creative side is way more fun. But I sent it, I got it done, and it got printed, hooray! And then it arrived, the most magical, amazing moment when I held it. I was still thinking, I've done it wrong, it'll be back to front, it'll be inside. Oh, it's perfect! Oh my gosh, the colours were so vivid, it was like, like the most delicious sweet bursting out of the book. Oh, it was, and the paper, it feels like a sketchbook, and the colours, they're just all vibrant. It's amazing, I love it so much. Oh, Mum's ringing me. Hello, Oma. Hello, Chloe. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. Um, you've just crashed my YouTube video again. Oh, I am glad. I am glad. Well, I just need you to go and turn the for 10 minutes, please. T turn the what? Turn the steamer. You know that thing by the castle where the vent you're in? Yes. Turn it on yes. for 10 minutes. Yes, please. And make sure the light comes. Bye, darling. Goodbye, darling. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> well, I actually do know where the steamer is. Oh, she didn't tell me what to turn it to. She's just saying jokes on me I guess. Do I put it to 10 minutes or 20 or something? Yeah I said 10 minutes. Now listen you've got to learn messages and carry them. I used to do this when you were seven. I'm, <laughs> I'm not seven anymore. Make sure the light comes on. 20 minutes got it. Right okay then. Okay. Wait 20 yeah. <laughs> no 10. Oh 10 sorry. No, ten. Sorry. 10 10 10 okay. 10 10 10. Gosh I think poor friend must have bumped into the window at some point the best reaction to the book came from a family friend who was like really she's not outspoken she always cares about what she says and how people feel and she said i love the chaotic characters and the eccentric behavior i was like you do know that's you're talking about us right it's a true book it's 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 our family and she's like oh, oh gosh did i say that did i say that we're like yes so that's us, chaotic, eccentric, and I am proud of it. And I'm also proud of this book because the thought of it bringing happiness and laughter around the world is pretty special. If you would like to get a copy, you can find it in the, oh, not link in my bio. You can go to my Etsy, which is in the caption below. Happy portraits, because that's like my predominantly my pet page. And you can also get it on Kindle. Um, just love how it feels, it's so nice in the hand. And there's a secret QR code on the very first page that leads to a secret website with a secret page from the comet that I don't know how it managed to fall out when I was trying to get it printed, but it didn't end up in the book, so it's on the secret website, but you can only get it if you get the book. And yes, warning, every single part of this book is true. It's heartwarming as well, because it's a celebration of like just a crazy dad and his daughter driving me mad, but at the end, always making me smile, eventually. Okay, I do get really frustrated with him at multiple times. And he eats my chocolate. Never forgive him for that. And if you want to enjoy the chaos and fun, then you can see Happy Portraits on Instagram where there's loads of comics. I do have a YouTube and an Instagram for Dishwasher Dad Family, but it's so hard to keep up with like Kitty Sonder, Happy Portraits and everything in between. I'm just really happy that I can infuse it all together here on Kitty Sonder. I'm really, really happy. I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out how I could do that. And then the idea just came to me in the shower and the answer was, just do it. Just do it. So I did it. I hope you enjoyed this crazy video and yeah, mum crashing it again. She always crashes it. Um, and I shall see you next time. Have an amazing, happy time. I hope the sky is blue and even if it's raining, I hope you find something to be happy about. Bye. Mr. Martin, I've been expecting you. Yeah. So our dad already had a plan B, which was go back and watch the football on holiday. I don't think so, but we've arrived. So excited, I love this place.
quite territorial, isn't it? <laughs>